So I made a recent post where I was able to transform my files to code just by um, using my handoff process to developers. And a couple of people reached out to me to do a tutorial on how to um, get it done, right? So what you need to do first is you need to head over to Google and search for this. So Cloud Dev Sub Download. So once you get there, you should have access to this link. So make sure you download um, the one for your computer and install it, okay? So that's the first step. Step number two is you want to get a, um, a notepad editor. So in this case, um, there's this one, you can go to cursor.com. So you can see it cursor.com to have access to that uh, notepad editor, okay? The next one you want to do is you want to head over to this website, um, this link here. So it's called uh, github.com slash glib slash figma dash context dash mct, okay? And what you should do next is you want to come over here and click on copy. Then now, this is where you now need to go to cursor, okay? So I'll open your cursor, and when you open your cursor, you should see, and when you open your cursor, you should see just these three buttons, right? So what you want to do is click on clone repo, all right? So I'm going to click on clone repo and paste the link I copied initially, and just press enter, all right? So it's going to ask you where exactly you want to paste this file in, okay? So I'm comfortable with it, and then I'm going to click here as my repository destination. So to ask you, would you like to open the clone repository? Click on open. So you should get something like this. Okay. So what I want to do next is I want to come over here and click on the button below. All right. Very important. The next thing is I want to switch over to terminal. So in case your terminal is not showing up, maybe you have something like that. Your terminal is not showing up um, like this. Right. I have terminal is not showing up. You can always see these additional views to see your terminal. Okay. Or just what you simply want to do next is you want to go back to the website and follow the steps right so we've done the first step already so we've done clone repository right then the next one is to do this pnpn install but before we do that we need to copy this code okay so how do we do that we copy we come over here click on copy and then we have to paste it somewhere so where do we paste it we need to paste it inside cloud um, json file so how do we find that we come over to cloud like so I'm going to come to cloud settings. Click on settings, you see this model. Then I'm going to switch over to developer. You can see right now it's empty. So here you are seeing MCP. So what is MCP? MCP in full is called Modest Contest Protocol. And the idea is for non technical people, if you have a laptop and a phone. If you want to connect them, you are going to use a USB cord, right? So again, we have figma and we have cloud and we want to connect them together so we are going to use that mcp as a usb cord to for them to be able to talk to each other okay but in this case cloud is going to have access to um your figma file and know exactly what's going on there okay so i'm going to come over and click on edit config it should bring me this folder so it maybe bring me this uh folder now what i'm looking for is cloud underscore desktop underscore json okay so what I simply want to do is, I want to um, open this with um, my cursor file, okay? So I'm going to click on open with cursor. So once it's there, it's going to be empty like this, all right? So what I'm going to go ahead to do is, I'm just going to paste in that item we've copied from the GitHub file. So I'm going to save it there, okay? But notice now that it's saying that what? You need your Figma API key. So how do we get our Figma API key? So what you need to do is go into Figma. So once your Figma is open, what you click on is you need to come over to settings. So once you open your settings, you should see account community notification and security. So switch over to security and then what you are looking for is your personal access tokens. So I'm just going to click on generate new token and I'll give it a name so I can call it a cloud connection. Any name you give it's fine. So click on generate token so and you can only copy this token once okay because once i close it now i want to have access to it you see i'm not able to have access to it so now i'm going to go back to cursor and then replace this section here with that all right save it now if you are thinking that it's going to start working on the fly automatically no because right now it's supposed to show something here but it's not showing it and yet it's still empty so how do we fix that okay so now we have to go back to the github file and in the GitHub file, we have a couple of steps already. So we already have this step here done. So clone the repository, we've done that. That was the first thing we did. So the, the next thing it says we'll do this PMPM install. So where do we do that? So you come back to this place where we have your terminal and then make sure that 
you are in this folder so how do you know is it should be opened here by default or press ls to be sure so you can say you're in this um folder right so now that yes you can see that you're in this this folder what you want to do is simply type pmpm PM install just follow the steps right so it's going to download some things already we call them dependencies right so those depend are things that um the file cannot work without so it's going to download it separately now once it has finished downloading you want to go back again to go and see the next step so the next step now tells us to copy the same code we got from the figma into this file okay so i'm going to come over to this file env.example and you can see it right here i'm going to erase this one and paste it so notice that this one doesn't have quotation marks very important now again one more thing is that we need to rename this from env example to just dot env so env is actually a place where you save your files so please don't use my own link anyways i'm going to delete it after this tutorial video so that um, if, if you try to use it, it's not going to work for you all right so just paste in your own here just the way i've showed you um, how to do it so now after doing that i know you're done you now need to do this last one pm pm run dev okay so very straightforward so i'm going to come back here pm pm run dev enter so once you've done that now it should load up like this and you can see it's saying that you have a new sse connection established so that idea tells you that it's actually working already so notice that this place this one must always be open as long as you want to keep using figma to mcp because if it's not working if, if this is closed it's not going to work at all so make sure it's all now when you come back here it's still going to be empty like this okay so what you first want to do is you want to reload your um cloud okay by closing it and opening it again so now that i've opened cloud there so you can see i have these two mcp available now say now i can download images from figma or get figma data so as you can see now so now let's test our um, ai to see whether it works so what i usually do is this i'm going to do two steps right i'm going to take a screenshot like this paste that in right and i'll say I'll right click into this, uh, copy link into selection, paste that in. I'll say um, look look at the image and recreate the design one to one the reference is in the figma link posted above something like this okay then again um for the icon now so that it doesn't do rubbish i can right click copy as svg and paste since i only have one icon right so i can paste it here too paste a lot and i can say below is the icon something like this okay so i'll send so what it's going to do is it's going to um try and recreate it but first of all to ask for this question okay and then now i'm going to try and recreate it in html css with react components so something very simple again i didn't specify like oh this is the language i want but again if you have spoken to your developers and you ask them they'll be able to um tell you the language that they are writing in and then you can write based on that so notice that it's able to give me this totally so sometimes like it's not totally perfect but you can see that we are very very close so now i can go on to take even more screenshots like this for better explanation because it has gone like 90 percent of the way so like and then i can say okay i am not not seeing not seeing the blue button all right so then apart from that like you can have um i'm not seeing the blue button right sent so i think it has to do with like the uh active ads. um so like this preview so sometimes i usually uh, click on publish and publish link right so even you can use this to like just quickly prototype and add like all those your micro um, functionalities to this and then you can just easily publish and publish uh, 
you get a link that you can even um, preview the um, page from. So that is all for now. If you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. Okay? Cheers.